Everybody, uh, long time no vlog. Feels weird, but I'm gonna get back into it, I think. It's almost my birthday. Uh, it's my birthday on the 7th of March. That'll tell you how old this video is. I guess we'll see when it comes out. Uh, but I'll be turning 29. I wanted to do a little birthday trip, so I decided to come to a place that I've already been before with Toko Creative. You might have seen the video. Uh, and I've come to Echigo Yuzawa. <laughs> It is a little bit less snowy than how it was last time, but I did come about a month earlier when I was here with TC. But this time I'm here, I don't really want to go skiing, I don't really want to do snowboarding. Uh, I'm here for onsen and to put my face in some snow. I actually have a really bad habit of eating snow. Uh, I know a lot of people get upset at me for it, but <laughs> I, it's really good. I'm not here to promote it. Don't do as I do, do as I say, don't eat it. I know there's dirt in it. That's not gonna stop me. I heard someone got it, got ill from it. I'm, that's still not stopping me. Basically, uh, I found a really cool hotel here and I haven't been before. I'm hoping that it's really good. It was a little bit pricey, but I thought I wanna splurge for my birthday. I'm also here with some friends, but they don't wanna be on camera. So if it looks like I'm doing a little sad, lonely trip by myself, which is also okay, uh, I do actually have friends. <laughs> so I'll just show you what I can and yeah, show you a little bit of Ichigo Yuzawa, a little bit of snow and happy birthday to me. Yippee. Don't worry, I'm very selective in the kind of snow that I eat. I would not eat just general snow, especially with a random uh, pet bottle in it. And although I have seen snow many times before, I'm still an Australian. It still gets me very, very excited. Last time for the TC video, we stayed over there and they have a really cute cafe that sells cream cake. So I want to go over there and try it out. the menu at the cafe we're at. I forget what this cafe is called. I have no idea. I'm gonna put it on the screen. I want to get their famous roll cake. They use a uh, rice flour. Also they have onsen coffee and onsen tea and I think I'm gonna get an onsen kocha, so the onsen tea. They use onsen water in it but I associate onsen water with being a little bit stinky so I guess we'll see how it is. Beautiful funwari roll cake. Actually, beautiful. Hey man. Hey man, you wanna not do that? <laughs> Hang on, I don't know if I can fit this in my mouth. Very fluffy. Nice cream. It's a little like plain, I like a little more fun stuff going on, but it's still incredibly delicious. It's just a very fluffy cake. And we have onsen tea. Tastes like tea. There's two big tables in the middle of this cafe, and uh, they, <laughs> they used to be doors. They've got like. Um, like, as I said before, they got big old knockers on them. Um, I want to put my feet in the bar. Doing a little ashiyu. Uh, next to the station, there's a foot on sand, which is called ashiyu. Yeah, so the station's right there, and this is where the ashiyu is. And it's free. We love free things. Too long, but I can't leave. It's too good. <laughs> it feels too nice. You guys see the pink line on my legs? It doesn't show up as good on the camera, but that's pink, baby. Inside the station, there's also all of these food stores. If you want to grab something to bite and eat. Uh, we have a huge dinner at the Ryokan, so I'm not gonna get anything. Never mind, got some takoyaki because <laughs> I don't think I can last until dinner. 
Oh, yum. I love takoyaki. It was 550 yen for eight. Okay, I just called the hotel and they're sending a shuttle to come pick us up because it's about a 25 minute walk away, but they have a free shuttle. So, woohoo, I'm so excited. Really needed that takoyaki though. I'm feeling a lot better. I'll get a little hungry. Here she comes. Okay, just got to the hotel and checked in. We were whisked away to our room because they needed to show us everything. So uh, I'm already in the room. The room I booked, I booked it for some special reasons, which I will showcase to you. It is expensive, but also I think it's good for what it is. A festival room tour. Okay, coming in there is a huge Genkan. It's a little dark and moody with some nice lighting. Over there's the toilet and the bathroom, but I'll show you that in a second. But let me show you the piece de resistance. The main room. beautiful Ryokan room with a crazy nice chair over there but there's something even more special the reason that I booked this room is private onsen overlooking the snow and the Shinkansen track perfect for a, a train otaku oh wait is that I think I see it I think I see it You can open the window and have the view of everything. It's real natural onsen water. It's gorgeous and it just keeps overflowing. Amazing, so I can jump in there whenever I want. Tonight is all about eating and getting in the tub. That's the whole reason I booked this place. Other than that, the room is clean, the room is nice. Funky chair. So the price that I got this place for was about 50,000 yen, which is expensive yes but it is like skiing season and it's in a good area and you get private onsen and all the meals are included so we get uh kaiseki meals and uh breakfast as well the reason that it's cheaper than usual it would as it would be is because if you go on japanese websites you can get some interesting discounts this discount is called like the self-service discount and it means that they're still gonna make all of our meals, but they're just gonna leave them outside. And so we get to bring them in and set them up ourselves. Same with the futon, we set up our own futon. And same with the breakfast, we're just bringing in our own breakfast. And because we're not using the staff for anything, there's a bit of a discount. So if you're able to book through Japanese websites, there's kind of those kind of deals available that can help with pricing. I do know that this is an expensive place, but especially if you're coming here with friends, it's really not that bad. And yeah, I think it's a good deal. I did a lot of research, I did a lot of searching. We also have some little snacks here. I don't know what they are. Sasayuki and some kind of ume thing. Oh, tanenashi ume. Okay, so this is just a ume without the seed. Let's give this bad boy a test. Yeah, that's nice. That's really good. Usually for work, I do get the opportunity to stay in a lot of uh, ryokan and like private onsen places, but most of the time, we're spending most of the time working. Uh, so you don't usually get to enjoy the hotels to the full extent, so that's why I'm happy. I'm here like at check-in and I'm gonna be here till check-out. <laughs> so I'm very happy about that. I'm really gonna enjoy it to the max. Get out the horses here. <laughs> uh, uh. There's also a bathroom. Hello. Nice. Yeah, it's like an old traditional yokan. And of course, the toilet. It's really nicely decorated. Oh my gosh, I really like the vibe. Lamp. Looks like they have a bunch of things, like a souvenir store, like a little coffee shop, the lobby, multi-purpose room, vending machines. So they have a little cafe here. I think it's not running at the moment, but it's just super cute. 
I really like the choice of furniture and interior. Lots of circles going on. Even the ceiling. Look at that. There's also a library. Yeah, baby, we got ping pong. Round one. Match point. Zero. Game. It's snowing. Okay, I'm gonna try the Sasayuki. Snack. Yes. Oh god. Mmm. <laughs> Mochi and red bean. That is really delicious. I wonder if it's your moggy flavor or something. Really great texture. That's awesome. Actually, this is absolutely delicious. I don't know what they put in it. I don't know what flavor that is, but it's really good. Uh, if you come to Yuzawa Onsen area, uh, get this. Now I'm gonna eat this ume because I'm that hungry. There's no seed in it. Yo, actually this is kind of good. I don't hate this at all. Mmm, sweet and salty and, and sour. Ooh, I think that's the most I've ever enjoyed an ume. It's like five minutes until dinner time. I just cleared the table and they're gonna leave the food outside and we're gonna bring it in because it's the self-service plan. Uh, also, we ordered some Umeshu soda. So, they'll be bringing that to the room too. I also sent my friend down to get uh, a box of the uh, mochi that we just ate because they sell them at the front and <laughs> it's so good. Sasayuki is what it's called. Don't just Google Sasayuki snack because uh, it came up with hentai for me, so Search it in Japanese for like Yuzawa Onsen Sasayuki. Uh, don't do it in English. Okay, they just brought in uh, all of the dishes. or well, they just brought it to the door. So here we go. We're gonna put together our dinner ourselves. I mean, I say that they already made everything look so, so delicious. And they also gave us an explanation on what foods they have. This is the famous specialty in the region. It's called mochi pork and it's uh, pork ribs. And also there is uh, the famous rice from Niigata, which is where we are, which is koshihikari. And they gave us some stuff to eat it with. Yeah! Okay, let's set up. Okay, here is the food. It looks amazing. I'm so happy with how everything turned out as if I cooked it. You know, like I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy. It all looks really good and I'm happy that we're able to set up the table in such a nice way. Look at this. We got the mochi pork that the area is famous for. We got lots of different seafoods as well. Niigata is known for its seafood. We got koshihikari rice. There's also some interesting misos and salts to try with the rice specifically. We have, yeah, even more seafood dishes. Umeshu soda. Ah, uh, it looks like yuba. Fish, soba, tempura, miso soup, another fish dish. We put dessert in the fridge. It just, it, yeah, it all looks amazing. So let's dig in. Oh, that's very strong and alcoholic. <laughs> they said it wasn't sweet, but yeah, it's like sake with a hint of ume. This looks amazing. I'm just gonna go for some tempura. Just dip it in one of the random sauces. Itadakimasu, I forgot it's itadakimasu. Mmm. Honestly, with all of this included in the plan, that's kind of crazy. It was really, really good. Especially if you're visiting from America. This is gonna cost like $50. <laughs> Kidding, be a bit more than that, but still. Now's the time with that exchange rate. Anyway, gonna sit and enjoy this, so. Goodbye, delicious flavors. I know I should capture me and join them, but they're really good. I'm, I'm just, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. It's my birthday. I'm gonna go. Guys, this is so good. Also, we're listening to music. I'm listening to Mini Trees' new album while we eat. This is so good. I think this is one of the best kaisekis I've had. The ribs are insane. They had a tempura mochi, like sweet mochi. The rice is brilliant. This is awesome. Guys, this bath is insane. I'm gonna take another bath tomorrow morning so I can see the snow, but... 
huge window open looking out over Ichigo Yuzawa. I mean, come on. That's pretty good. Guys, it's bedtime. Better set up. Good night. Onsen was amazing. We'll see you tomorrow. This place is actually so red. Hee hee. Yo, you good night. Good morning everybody, it is day two, the final day in Uzawa Onsen. Uh, last night was incredibly relaxing, the food was awesome. Got up this morning and I got back into the bath. There was a big snowstorm this morning, which is still going on, and we had a beautiful breakfast. But yeah, got the shuttle back from the hotel to the station, just had a caramel latte. And from here, I'm gonna walk to Kogen ski resort I think it's called and they have a cable car and a pizza restaurant at the top and a snow park which I don't know if we're up for we're gonna see the Shinkansen's were pretty booked out I used an app called Ekinet which uh, is good for booking Shinkansen's only going like north or east if you're going south uh, then you need to use the Smart X app to book Shinkansen. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely get the apps if you can to book Shinkansen because they get booked out really quickly and it helps you get better seats and stuff. So, and then you don't have to wait in the lines at the station because those are awful. Anyway, I'm gonna go try to find the cable car and enjoy the final day in Yuzawa. Well, as we're about to start our walk to the cable car, it stopped snowing. Lucky, lucky. They have more sasa stuff, they sasa dango, so the uh, bamboo leaves dango. What's up? What's up? What's up? Okay, I uh, just got some sasa dango. So sasa is the bamboo leaves, which I guess is what's on the outside. Ooh, it's so fresh, look at that. This is like sasa mochi on the outside, so the bamboo leaf mochi and then red bean on the inside. And it's still warm, it's very, very fresh. Look at that. I'm gonna take a big bite. Tadakimasu. Holy shit. <laughs> really good. Big thumbs up for that one. It's so good, the flavor. I'm just gonna film this steam coming up. Look at the steam. Oh, it's still warm, that's awesome. Also, the store that we just ate at is called Manju Kanda. Manju Kanda. The guy inside is very lovely. All the roads from getting iced over. The snow's coming down again. It's getting harder and harder. And that is what she said. That's crazy. I can't believe this is just an hour from Tokyo. That's nuts. Does this place sell cake and liquor? That's so good. What a combination. <laughs> wow. Boo, sports, boo. <laughs> okay, here we are. Kogen. Okay, the music might be a little bit loud, but we are waiting for the ropeway. It costs 3,400 yen per ticket. That includes playing at the snow park at the top, so there's like sledding and tubing and stuff. I don't know if we're gonna do it, but uh, nice to have the option anyway. And hopefully we have enough time before the Shinkansen. If not, we can change to a different Shinkansen time. Yeah, also this, uh, this is Kogen Ski Resort, so they have heaps of skiers and snowboarders and chairlifts from the bottom as well. Really easy access from the station, so yeah. Ignore the copyrighted music, but look at this bear. What is what is he feeling? He looks cooked. All right, we're here. Let's go. I'm good. Wow. Without the music, it's so quiet. 
There's a little kid's play park, but look at that slide. It just kind of, it goes to nothing. <laughs> it to nothing again. Uh, I made a mistake. I'll tell you guys about it after we sit down and eat some pizza at this beautiful restaurant. I really wanted to see snow and eat pizza and have a good view, um, so we went up this the cable car. I also wanted to use the snow park uh, where you can go sledding and stuff. Uh, the snow park is at the base. You don't need to go up the cable car for the snow park. Also, coming up here, it's just <laughs> you can't ski. Okay, never mind. There are a bunch of people up here just to enjoy the snow and just for the view and for the pizza restaurant, I guess. So it's okay. It is a thing that you are, you can do. <laughs> also, usually there is an amazing view here, but because of all the snow, we can't see anything. But I guess it, it, it would be super worth it if you came up and it was a clear day and you could see the view. Then it would be really good as well. Uh, just one because it's so expensive up here. Gorgonzola mixed cheese with honey. Nice. It's so good. It's so good. Okay, these are the lower slopes. Cute little chair lift. I've got all these little restaurants. It looks like that's a place to stay with like an onsen as well. Really cute. Okay, We're going over this way for the kids' play park. Looks like you can rent skis for 2,500 yen for adults and 2,000 for children. Kids' play area, let's go. And guys, you can see uh, the hotel we stayed at in the distance. That's the Onyu Yado Nakaya. Beautiful. And the train comes all the way past here. Really strong and cool. It's like a like a smash room, but like there's no. There's second stop the video just for a moment I pause this cozy content to give a huge thank you to my patrons thank you so much everybody on patreon for supporting me you guys are awesome if you didn't know I do have a patreon on there I like to share a lot of recommendations throughout Japan but mainly Tokyo of places that I love a lot but I don't share on social media because I gatekeep but yeah if you want to know my secret spots and places that I really enjoy each month uh, I'll let you know on patreon so yeah please check it out okay thank you for watching goodbye My camera died. It was a wonderful trip. I definitely recommend Ichigo Yuzawa. 
Uh, also, a lot of the ski resorts uh, have English friendly stuff as well, so if you want to go skiing, it's a good place, but yeah, really blessed with the weather, with the activities, and it was just awesome. So, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and hit subscribe if you want to see more videos like this or not like this. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao!